everyone! I'm thrilled to share with you my hen and chick pattern. They require no sewing at all and work up really quickly and easily. They're made using the same body base, and the mother hen has an additional crown and tail, as well as wings to crochet on directly. As you can see, it has a nice slope to its back, mimicking a more realistic body shape. If you would like to support me as a pattern designer, I do have the written pattern available as a PDF, and it's linked in the description box below. It will include photo references and a special nest pattern for your mama hen and baby chick. Thanks in advance for supporting my designs. Let's go ahead and get started. For this project, you can really use any type of yarn you want, but I am using this super bulky weight yarn here. This is Hobby's Baby Snuggle Yarn, and it is very plush and velvety. And as you can see, your amigurumis will turn out with this lovely um, stuffed animal sort of look. If you want to crochet with thinner yarns, like let's say uh, fingering yarn weight here, you will end up with a much smaller hen or chick, and that could be super cute as a keychain too. Now I am using a five millimeter hook with this um, super bulky weight yarn. If you're using thinner yarn, you're gonna wanna use a smaller hook so that you don't um, have any gaps in your stitches when you crochet. You'll also need a pair of scissors. You'll need eight millimeter plastic safety eyes and some fiber fill stuffing. Let's begin. We're going to start with round one, chain two and insert eight single crochets into the second chain from your hook. So here's what it'll look like. Two chains. And then in that second chain from your hook, you're going to put in eight single crochets. That's one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. For round two, you're going to increase all the way around. So you're going up from eight single crochets to 16. Here I'm gonna insert two single crochets in the first stitch, two in the next one, and all the way around. Now that you finish round two, you should have 16 single crochets all the way around. We're gonna go ahead and um, up it to 20 stitches by doing three single crochets and then an increase, repeat it around four times. Here's what it'll look like. And if you want, you can add a stitch marker to um, kind of keep track of your location. I'm just gonna count out to help myself with um, keeping track. So here, single crochet three, one, two, three, and then increase in the next stitch. Repeat that another three times. Single crochet three, one, two, three, and increase. We're gonna repeat that two more times now. Single crochet three, one, two, three, and increase and I'm on to my last repetition one two three and increase after you've done that um, you are going to move to round number four which is to just single crochet all the way around and I've decided to use a stitch marker now. <laughs> so keeping track of my place a little easier. Don't have to rely on counting. 
All right, so here I'm just going to insert one single crochet in each stitch. All right, now that I'm back at the very front of my round, um, I'm going to move on to round number five. And you can turn your amigurumi inside out um, to make sure the right side stays out. For round five, you're going to do single crochet four and then increase four times for a total of 24 stitches at the end. Here's what um, it'll look like. So here I'm doing single crochet four times one, two, three, four, and in the next stitch, I'm going to increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And basically repeat that around three more times. Here I am with round number um, five complete. Going on to round six, um, I recommend shifting your marker up, by the way, your stitch marker to see the beginning of the round here. And we're gonna start off with single crochet 22. And in the last two stitches, you're going to increase. So I'm just gonna single crochet 22 around and we're gonna stop at the last two stitches to increase. Here I am stopping before the last two stitches of this round. Remember, insert two single crochets in each of the last stitches. As you do so, your stitch count will go up to 26. All right, so there we have it. Round number six is done. For round seven, you're going to single crochet 23, then increase two, and then single crochet in the last stitch. First, count your number of stitches, single crochet 23 around. Here I've done 23 single crochets around. Next, I'm gonna do these two increases. So in this first stitch, increase. In the next stitch, increase. And in the final stitch of the round, just a simple single crochet. That's that for round number um, eight. Oh, excuse me, sorry, round number seven. Moving on to round eight, you're going to single crochet 24, increase two, and then single crochet two. So here with round eight, I'm gonna start off by single crocheting 24. I've done the 24 single crochets around. Now I'm going to increase in the next two stitches. So that's two single crochets in the first stitch, two single crochets in the next one. All right, so I did the two increases and then two single crochets. And that's the end for the round. For the next round, round number nine, you're just going to single crochet 25, increase twice, and then single crochet three. Single crocheting around for 25 stitches. After doing those 25 single crochets, you're going to increase twice. So here I am with the increases, one, and two, and then you're going to single crochet three. So that's one, two, three single crochets. All right, and that's that for round number nine. For rounds 10 and 11, all you are going to do is just single crochet around. You're not doing any increases at all. So we'll meet back when those two rounds are finished. Here is my body so far up to round 11. Um, you'll see that it starts to have, well, let me flip it the right side. 
So here's the top of the head and you'll see that one end is rounder and the other is starting to form sort of a point. This will be the tail end and this will be the head. Now for this next round, round 12, we're going to do some decreases. Um, what we're gonna do first is single crochet and then decrease twice. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna move my stitch marker up a little bit here. All right, so single crochet and then decrease. You can do a regular decrease. I'm gonna demonstrate an invisible decrease here. So I'm inserting my hook into the front loop of the first stitch, inserting it into the front loop of the next stitch, pulling yarn through both stitches at once, and then making a single crochet on top. All right, and we're gonna repeat single crochet and decrease again. Single crochet and decrease. Go through the two front loops. Yarn over, pull through those two front loops. Yarn over, single crochet. All right, and next you're going to single crochet 10. So um, go ahead and we'll do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 single crochets. And now you're going to decrease in single crochet for a total of three times. Here's what it'll look like. Decrease. Single crochet. That's the first repetition. Decrease. Single crochet. That's the second repetition. And then decrease. Oops. And single crochet. That's the very last repetition. Now you're going to decrease twice. And let me show you that. Decrease. And decrease. Then you're going to single crochet. And then decrease in the very last stitch. And that's that for round number 12. You'll see that the body is starting to um, close down now. We're gonna kind of begin the decreasing so that we can seal up the bottom. Now at this point, it's a good time to just work the beak in here um, because after you work in the beak, you're going to insert the plastic safety eyes and you'll want to do that before the circle or excuse me before the opening gets closed up i've got my orange yarn for the beak you're going to kind of fold your piece flat and um, your starting um, part of the round is not going to be the very back of the doll just make sure that the um, piece folds flat where um, you can see this nice curve shape and doing that will help you find the center of the face. So we're going to count down from the top here. Go to um, basically insert your hook between rounds four to five, right at the center where the face would go. So here's round one, two, three, four, and five. So right between there, and let's say this, um is probably around the center so as you can see when you fold your body flat you'll be able to get to the midpoint so this is between rounds four and five and i'm gonna pull my orange yarn through for the beak leave a bit of a tail in the beginning because you're gonna weave that in all right. Now you're going to chain two, one, two. 
then slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. After you do that slip stitch, you're going to fasten off with a bit of a long tail because you're going to pull the yarn in through. Let me just snip it off here. And I'm going to pull this through. And it's funny, you've got this little triangle hanging here. Um, you're going to insert your hook where the starting yarn tail is. You'll see that coming out in the same location as the starting yarn tail. You're going to pull the ending yarn tail and just pull it right through that stitch. When you do that, your little triangular beak will um, come into place here. And you'll also want to pull in the starting yarn tail as well. Mm, let's see. You can kind of twist it around to see where's a good spot to pull it through. Let me just pull it through here. See how that looks. All right. And after you have your beak done, you can go ahead and tie the two yarn tails together inside of your um, ch chicken's body. That way you can keep the yarn tail securely inside. After you've gotten the beak down, it's a good time to insert the plastic safety eyes. I'm using a pair of eight millimeter eyes here and I'm just going to insert them about two stitches away from the beak. So I'm counting two stitches to the side, one, two, and inserting the eyes. Doing the same to the other side here. One, two, inserting the eyes. And you can kind of take a look to see um, from the front how you like the placement from the side and fasten them with the backings. Alright, so here's a look at the chicken so far and we're going to go ahead and continue on with the body now that we have gotten the eyes and the beak on. So um, let's pick up where we left off with the crocheting. We are now going to work on round 10 of the body and for round 10 you're just going to single crochet and decrease all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. That's I'm going to show you a couple repetitions of how that's going to look and we'll meet back. So single crochet and decrease. Second repetition, single crochet and decrease. Third repetition, single crochet and decrease and work all the way around until you have um, 16 stitches for this round. This repetition is going to be done eight times. Here is um, round number 10 done. Now is a good time to stuff your chicken before we finish up with the last round of decreases at the end. So go ahead and get some fiber fill stuffing and stuff it up firmly, but be careful not to stretch your stitches. And here we are with the last round, round 11. You're simply going to decrease around here. And I'm gonna do um, just a few to demonstrate that. So here's one decrease. Two decreases. three, four, 
for I think I'll just show you the whole round because it's so quick. <laughs> Five, whoops, yarn's a little bit slippery here. And here's going to be six decreases. And at this point, you would have a very small hole. Um, you can go ahead and do some final stuffing to it if you'd like to make sure um, it's stuffed nicely on the bottom. I like to use my finger to kind of poke at the tail area here to make sure that the um, shaping is as, um, as we had designed, making sure there's kind of this point to the tail. And you can either fasten off with a long strand of yarn to sew the bottom together, or I do it the lazy way of kind of um, going into the top and just like slip stitching it together. All to avoid sewing. <laughs> All right, going into here, just skipping a stitch and slip stitching. All right. And then go ahead and fasten off with a yarn tail to weave into the body. You'll see that hole is pretty much closed up now. And I'm just going to pull the yarn through. And that's that for the body. As you can see, it has this cute little um, curved shape to the back and um, you can stop here if you want to make just the chick um, it's very adorable as is you can sew um, little feet to the front of your chick if you'd like I think that would be a really cute little detail to add on um, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and do the crown of the chicken now to make it a hen so this part um, is going to require you to attach yarn, but again, it's a no-sew method. So just go ahead and grab your red yarn and we'll meet back. I've got my red yarn ready. Let's go ahead and make the crown. You're going to first have your chick, or your hen, excuse me, facing the right side. And we're going to insert our hook into round two and that's going to be on um, to the right of the magic ring. So here's the magic ring where you started. This is round one, and here's round two. So I'm going to put my hook into round two to the right of the magic ring, because we're starting kind of at the forehead position, and then we're going to work back towards the mid section of the head and to the back. The crown itself is going to take up three stitches of space. Um, I'm going to insert my hook into round two and starting in the middle. So I'm going to kind of turn my chick forward to see where that center is. Get your red yarn and pull it through. Once you're there, you're going to make one little um, kind of like a puff looking um, stitch. It's not actually a puff, but here are the directions for it. And these are going to be the same directions you use for the second and third puffs. So you're going to first chain Then you're going to half double crochet going into that same stitch so there's my half double crochet then you're going to chain and then you're going to slip stitch all into that same stitch after you do that it produces kind of like this little lump <laughs> or puffy looking thing 
on the chicken's head. And then you're going to continue this with the next um, two stitches. So the next one is going to go over the next stitch right here in round one. So let's turn it around. Let's do that. Make a chain, half double crochet into the stitch. And as you can see, I'm going into round one on the head. After the half double crochet, you're going to chain and then slip stitch into that same stitch. Then you're going to do that, uh, repeat that for the last stitch for the crown, chain, half double crochet into the next stitch, Hold on. While you're doing this, uh, one tip is to make sure that your crown is centered. So I want to make sure that it's not leaning off to the side. Um, you can measure, take a look at where the eyes are to make sure that you are going centered. So half double crochet into this next stitch here. Chain and again half double crochet into that same stitch. All right, after you do that, you have these three puffy things on your chicken's head. You can fasten off with a tail because you're going to pull that yarn tail through um, into that last stitch here that we worked out of. There we go. And I'm gonna pull that starting yarn tail through as well so we can hide it. There's the crown, and as you can see, it is um, three kind of mountains on the chicken's head. And um, you're actually doing the same exact instructions, um, going over three stitches and um, doing the same like chain, half double crochet, chain, slip stitch for the tail. So you're just um, going to follow these instructions right down here on the tail end. All right, so for the tail, I'm grabbing some of this turquoise yarn. It looks fun to work with. So my chicken's tail is going to be turquoise. Now you're going to work the tail on the back of the chicken towards where the bottom is. It's going to take th um, three stitches of space and go over rounds nine, eight, 10, and 11. So here was rounds one and two up here, and I'm gonna go count down. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's gonna go over this amount of space. Oops, right here. And you're gonna want to find where the center of the chicken is when you start. So I'm seeing that I'm, um, I got lucky. I'm in the middle here. All right, so starting with round nine, or starting over round nine, you're going to repeat those directions you did earlier for the crown by pulling yarn through. Start off with a chain, a half double crochet in the same stitch, a chain and a slip stitch into the same stitch. Next, you're going to chain, half double crochet in the next stitch over round 10, chain and half, excuse me, slip stitch into that second stitch here. And then chain, half double crochet into the very last um, stitch, which is over round 11, chain and slip stitch. Again, same exact instructions as the crown. So nice and easy. Fasten off with a bit of a tail so that you can weave in the ends here. I kind of like the turquoise uh, color yarn. Makes for a unique pop of color. 
and you're going to want to pull in those starting and ending yarn tails right into the chicken's body. So that's that. And you can actually stop here if you want. Um, this chicken looks great as it is, but if you want to add wings, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so for the wings, you can go ahead and um, get the same color as you used for the body. They're going to take up four stitches of space, so you'll want to anticipate kind of where um, the first stitch will start and where the last stitch will end. You're gonna count down from the top of the head to around seven and eight. So the wings are gonna be um, attached between round seven and eight. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm right in between there. And I'm gonna kind of go, you can really put them anywhere you want. Um, I'm going to put them a little um, to the side from the eye. And here I'm gonna attach yarn to begin. Oops. All right, let's get that. In the very first stitch, you're just going to um, chain two. Insert a double crochet into that same stitch. like so. And then you're going to insert three double crochets in the next three stitches. So I'm going to go move into that next stitch here. Oops. Let me do that again. So I'm going to move into the next stitch here and pull through to make a double crochet. Go into the next stitch, make a double crochet go into the next one and make a double crochet. So as you can see, you've got these four double crochets and the chain three in the beginning right here. And now we're going to do a little bit of edging for the wing. So we're going to turn the piece, work the other way, um, you're first going to skip the first stitch and then single crochet in the next. Single crochet in the next. And slip stitch in the last stitch. Oops. Once you finish that, you're going to Fasten off with a bit of a yarn tail and weave in both of those ends. Let me pull through that starting yarn tail first. And then it's the second one here. And as you can see, you've got um, one little wing done. The same instructions will be um, applied to the next side. So if you um, are working on the next side, just make sure you allocate four stitches of space. Um, count down to the same um, place between round seven and eight attach your yarn, and work through with the same instructions.
All right, so I've just finished both of the wings for my little hen here. And that's that for this adorable little amigurumi. I hope you enjoyed making this with me. And remember, if you want to get the pattern um, as a PDF download, that would really support me as a designer. It's great to have the written pattern to follow along with the instructions. And the pattern also includes instructions for crocheting this cute little nest that you can put your hen or your chick inside of. All right. Thanks again and happy crocheting. Bye now.